Hi guys, this is Mesa with kinsmade.etsy.com. I, if you guys are like me, you kind of cheap out on the plates and get the ones off of Wish um, for like a dollar. <laughs> um, I'm all about the one dollar bill. Um, so these come and they're kind of hard on the edges and most of us wish that they came like the nicer ones we pay a little more money with the nice um, final backing so what I like to do to make mine a little safer to use and just make them seem a little bit more luxurious is I use the chopping mats that you get from the dollar store they're just kind of semi clear um, and then I just cut them to size behind the plate and I move the plate up to the corner and use my scissors and just round that corner to match and I do all four corners um, you do want to I did these two and three eighths by five for this size but you'll also want to keep in mind the container you know that you're gonna store them in I'm just using these little coupon books from coupon holders from the dollar store for mine so I don't have to be too fussy about that size but you may want to be so um, then what you do is you go to I went and found these at Walmart and it is Gorilla Tape um, it's an automotive type of tape and it is double stick so on this side where it's rolled up it's super sticky and then there's a release film on the top that will peel off later when we're done working with it but basically, what you want to do is just cover as much of the surface space. I did by the one inch. I think it was 538 plus tax at my Walmart. <clears throat> my husband turned me on to it. And I'm sorry I don't have the package. He was being very helpful and cleaned up and tossed it out. Otherwise, I would show you what the packaging looks like. We've also bought this at other sources. And I think at Walmart, too, with the red release tape. Sometimes you'll find it like that. You can also find it in a paint supply store um, because it is for automotive use, automotive paint and decals and that sort of thing. But it's clear and it's not very spongy. It's pretty firm and you know you don't want your plate giving and being all squishy like a pillow while you're trying to stamp. So this keeps everything firm but it gives you that thickness that you want. Okay, I recommend leaving your blue release tape off of the film on you know that comes on the plate I recommend leaving that because you're going to be scraping at it to try to keep to try to pancake and sandwich all of these layers together so I like to leave it just so that I don't um, scratch the plate while I'm doing this next step so all I do is I just kind of measure out that tape and cut it off uh, which I'm going to do now and I do recommend using a little alcohol on a swab and just clean this up. Any fingerprints that you've left or any oils that have gotten on the plate are going to interfere with the adhesion of the, the tape. So I'm also going to do that step as well. Okay, now this is the part that's going to be tricky to show you what to do. I have the sticky side down and I don't want to lay it all the way down. Um, Because what I'm going to do is use this little squeegee that you see over there, that little gray squeegee. Or you could use, um, you know, you could just use your fingers or you could use a credit card. But I'm going to use that to, um, at this, the place where I've started the adhesive down there. And I'm going to just slowly work this down while I'm pushing on it with that little squeegee. Okay, so you see I've gone from this side to the other with this the little squeegee and just pushed it along as I laid that down. It went down pretty well. There is a little edge here, which I find is, is better for me just so that I don't get, because the edges do stay a tiny bit sticky. And when I'm washing my plates with a cotton ball, if I get this too close to the edge, it tends to snag some of that cotton ball and, and leave them kind of raggedy, so I don't, I don't like that. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I don't want to have any big gaps because it could make a soft spot and make the plate buckle while you're working with it. So I don't know if you, you can see that there are some air bubbles in there, but you know, you want to try to keep those to a minimum. 
I find that, you know, a few of them, they do kind of work out as you, the plates get warm and cool again. Um, so those might, might come out, but you can, you know, burnish them down really good with your squeegee. This squeegee, I think, came with my cell phone cover. You know, you get the, buy those films to protect your cell phone um, lens. And uh, so you may find them like that. Um, also decal, anything that you buy with the decal will sometimes come uh, with some sort of scraper, a little squeegee. And like I said, you can still use your credit card or just your fingers and press it down. So then what we're gonna do is we have like a release. There's a release film. I can pick it up. Move the camera out of my way. So I can see. Okay, I got it started now, so you can see how it just kind of comes right off. So I'm going to take off both of those skins and then just lay it down on my plastic plate. But I, I haven't trimmed it yet, so I'll do that now. And I like to do the shiny side up. Um, there is a kind of a duller side and a glossier side. Um, and these, of course, have had my fingerprints all over them while I was cutting, so I'm going to also swab those down with a little bit of alcohol. And this part can be a little tricky, but I just use a Sharpie, and I make sure it's a moist Sharpie. That helps a little bit, and I just carefully write my name right onto the sticky part of the tape. And that's after the little release papers have come off from the sticky. And then we'll just go ahead and center it on our, you know, turn it over and center it and stick it down. Then we're gonna press very hard against this blue film using our squeegee again. So I just, you know, I set it down there and then I just squeegeed over it very firmly. And you can do it again on the back and go ahead and scrape that really firmly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that's really helpful for you.